Kids are the light of any parent's life. You watch them grow from helpless babies into their own personalities, styles, and intelligence. But what if one of your kids grows up to be something you never expected? What if your precious angel is actually the devil in disguise? Today we'll be talking about a child gone so astray that his own father is holding it together by a thread just to keep his other children safe. This is a brief history of Max Villarreal. As always, this episode of A Brief History contains graphic content and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Max Villarreal was born to Jacques Villarreal and a considered unknown mother in Windenburg. The third child after his brother Hugo and sister Luna, Max was well-loved and well-cared for until aging up into a toddler. The family was reclusive, retaining multiple residences on a private island they owned in Windenburg. The three children were homeschooled by a mother never seen by the public, while Jacques could be seen gallivanting around town with the local mob bosses. Jacques had made a fortune on his vast criminal empire, underground cow plant fighting. It is claimed that Jacques and his wife had a sort of arranged marriage. Jacques had spotted the young girl around town and offered her parents a dowry that they simply could not refuse. But without knowing the identity of Mrs. Villarreal, this story cannot be substantiated. It is also said that Jacques worshipped the mysterious brunette sometimes seen in the windows of the Villarreal estate by local boaters. Hugo and Luna were active sites around town, known to join clubs and hang out at the local bars with their friends. Max, on the other hand, seemed as elusive as his unnamed mother. Rarely seen outside, Max is said to have had an attachment to his mother like never seen before. The boy would never leave her side, causing contention between the ever-devoted Jacques and his young clingy son. Aside from never leaving his mother's side, Max just seemed to be off. Max would torment his older siblings and simply laugh at their misery. He would act up, make messes, and was even known to run from the estate to hide in the woods, terrifying his mother that he may have fallen into the freezing lakes of Windenburg. Anyone who has ever met Max said they felt an evilness around him that was so much more chilling coming from a child. It is said that one night, finally having had enough, Jacques demanded that Max sleep in his own room and not with his mother. Max began crying and his mother rushed out to comfort him, leaving Jacques alone in bed to his thoughts. Despite the night being dark and stormy, Max insisted that they go off to the cliffs to watch the waves before retiring for the evening. All that is known is that Max ended up sleeping comfortably in his room, but his mother had mysteriously vanished. Upon waking in the morning, Jacques found a small square of fencing with mysterious pink flowers underneath, and his wife was nowhere to be found. What happened to Mrs. Villarreal? There are a few theories. The first and most popular theory is that Mrs. Villarreal's demise was all due to Max. Wildly jealous at his father's affections towards his mother, Max made the decision that if he couldn't have her, then no one could. Max is said to have lured his mother out to the cliffs, where he quickly erected a fence, trapping the defenseless woman. Due to the storm, she was struck down by lightning and perished by the cliffside. No one any the wiser to Max's deathly actions. A less popular theory is that while outside, Max's mother was abducted by aliens and placed into a new family, the Goth family. Max has been seen eyeing young Bella Goth as she strolls around town, 
looking desperate and confused as to why she seemingly doesn't recognize him. Bella fits the description of the mysterious woman seen from the lake, but no one can be sure. Mortimer keeps her closer than Jacques ever did. The final theory is that Mrs. Villarreal is a much more tragic character than we could have ever known. It is said that she didn't want to be trapped in a marriage she didn't want to be in. She hated that Jacques was a criminal and was terrified of seeing Max follow in his father's footsteps, especially with his personality traits. Upon attempting to flee her home that night with her young son, Mrs. Villarreal was thrown from the cliffside by none other than her seemingly doting husband Jacques. Jacques has since had what seems like a mental break after losing his wife. He has dug himself into numerous strange hobbies and is withdrawn from his children. Hugo and Luna seem to have forgotten their mother entirely, not asking about her once since her disappearance. And Max? Max can still be seen standing on the cliffside by his home, recently rebuilt by his father. Thank you so much for joining me for today's special Halloween Sims Brief History crossover. I hope that you guys enjoyed this ridiculous backstory that I came up for the Villa Reels. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I really appreciate you guys coming here every week for this brief history series. We will be back to normal true crime next week. Thank you again to my patrons who support this series every month. You are really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.